So there were, there were a few spots there where the meter suddenly switched. Was that due to the picture, or is that something you just like doing to make things interesting? This is a fantastic question, and it makes me it makes me feel very nostalgic because I got to ask Jerry Goldsmith that exact same question <laughs> once. Um, it was at UCLA, he was teaching a small group of students there and they had like a public uh, showcase thing where each student presented their work and Goldsmith was there to critique it. Wouldn't, wouldn't all of us love to get that sort of chance? So, uh, and I was in the audience and uh, at the end of it there was a Q&A and I learned that the budget for Star Trek Insurrection was one million dollars, <laughs> music budget. Um, but anyway, so I, I got to ask him this question, I was very nervous, and like, you know, I, I hear a lot of mixed meters in your music, and it's so cool, and I love it, and did this develop because of picture changes? You know, you have a 4-4 four, four bar, and you get a new picture, you need to take out 1-8, and it becomes a 7-8. Um, or, how did that evolve? And he said, great question. Um, <laughs> And he explained that it was always part of his composing style, that even before he seriously got into film music, that's the kind of rhythmic thing that he loved experimenting with. And so I, I, I learned from that, and I'm fascinated by mixed meters, and, and a composer friend of mine joked that I'm, I'm incapable of writing a piece that's entirely in 4-4. <laughs> um, and, and, you know, which, which sounds funny, but I actually got a commission uh, like three years ago to write a a piece for choir in sort of a Bach chorale kind of style and it needed to be all in 4-4 and I put in 1-5-4 there and they told me, oh, this is, nah, can't, can't, have, can't, can't have that. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm capable of, of writing a piece in 4-4 but it, it takes a lot it's out of me. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> There's something to be said for that because the ear, you know, let's take the op complete opposite end of the spectrum where uh, a composer writes in 4-4 four, four, and uh, phrases tend to be in four or eight measures. When, when you compose in that style, which is less adventurous, the listener's ear gets used to it, and you know, even subconsciously they start figuring out the patterns. Oh, there's a, me there's a section of four, there's a section of four, there's yeah. a section of eight. And the music feels more predictable, and it, it can kind of, kind of float to the bottom of your conscience. Whereas if you're smart about using timing changes, um, you can keep the listener on their toes. They never quite know what's going to happen next. Exactly, and that's the fascinating thing about Jerry Goldsmith's action scoring. You know, that's, that's I think, why he was so brilliant, is because you, you listen to his action music, and he himself said there's only so many ways you can score a car chase or, or an action scene, and uh, he managed to keep it interesting for his entire career. Mm.